What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. And today I got a new video for y'all. It's titled Worst Valentine's Day Gifts. Um, so I'm going to react to this video real quick just to bring y'all some more content since Valentine's Day right around the corner. Um, so this ain't going to be nothing special and nothing. Just trying to, you know, keep the channel going. Um, in the comments below, just tell me about what y'all got planned for this Valentine's Day. If y'all doing anything special or whatever, I probably vlogged it, you know. If, I ain't really got no big, big plans. Normally, I, you know, do something, go out of town or whatever. But this year, I'm kind of keeping it simple. So, you know, leave the comments in the description. Let's get this video going. From a gag inducing lover's mitten to a white hot branding iron for your significant other. Join us as we take a very lonely look at 10 of the worst Valentine's Day gifts ever. This Valentine's Day heart mitten found in the foul depths of Etsy is sure to strip your relationship of even the most mildly arousing thoughts. Touted as a cosy lover's mitten that will make strangers oh, smile uh, as you walk down the street, this is well, a handcuff on Day gift is a heart pair of spousal handcuffs. Yep. Now you can parade around town in the crippling fog of your own humiliation. Enjoy. This collection of Valentine's Day cards conveys a range of human emotions. Nothing like accosting a loved one with a gun and demanding their affection. I don't think emotional blackmail is the right way to go either. Mm. This Matthew McConaughey greeting card, however, will have your valentine weak at the knees. Or this vintage Valentine's Day card might do the trick too. This Valentine's Day, why not sear each other's flesh? This mm -hmm. love heart branding iron can be modified to have you and your lover's initials on it. This bad boy will make sure there's no more cheating ever again. Your partner will be tagged and catalogued for the rest of time. Hmm. Endearing, isn't it? Ever been so desperately in love you couldn't bear to take a phone call without letting go of your lover's hand? Well, thanks to Japan and this bizarre iPhone case, you'll never have to feel crushing loneliness ever again. Not even for a... That's gotta be weird. How you gonna answer the phone with somebody's hand and... That was different. Ah, right, well, it's in Japan, so no judgment, but I, that one's kind of weird. I don't know. They all weird, but I no. Second, That's enough. I'm sure this silicon hand can keep you company in other ways, too. Nothing says love like slurping up some udon noodles. <laughs> this set of colored love noodles from Japan Trend Shop are said to be perfect for romantic now, occasion. Everybody ain't got it like that, so hey, if you... Y'all know I always try to bring some positivity in the videos a little bit. So if you one of them people that just can't afford no luxury steak to take your girl or guy or buy, you know, and that's another question. Do y'all believe in getting guys gifts for Valentine's Day ladies? You know, but anyway, like, guys, if y'all can't afford these fancy restaurant stuff, don't go broke. Don't, you know, spend your whole check. You got rent and shit and uh, whatever. You know, condo doing everything. You balling out and, you know. Won't be having a ride after that. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I don't know. Like you can find something better than noodles. I would think. Like y'all could. It's more romantic ways. I think to just be creative than just spend a whole lot of money. And you know, Valentine love don't require money all the time. Not all the time. So. With That's just me. Colors, you have your partner weak at the knees when you announce on Valentine's Day you've cooked up a steamy batch of udon to munch on. Who says romance is dead? This one's more for those who will be alone this Valentine's Day. Created by designer Emily King, this let's make out pillow is designed for a people who practice pillow? kissing. The idea came to her in middle school when people would mention they practice kissing a pillow. And so these solars kept. How many of y'all did that when y'all were younger, just practice kissing on something, or slow dancing with a wall or some random crazy shit? I ain't, I ain't kissing no damn pill. Ornaments were born, ready for you to pucker up at a moment's notice. Now when Steve says he won't come out for beers this weekend, you probably know why. On Valentine's Day 2015, a ton of upset customers tweeted photos of what they had received from 1-800-Flowers. It ranged from bouquets of dead flowers to gifts not even showing up at all. Damn. The poor florist's social media team was inundated with customer complaints. Is it really the thought that counts, or do shitty dead flowers create too much of a glaring metaphor for your doomed relationship? Yeah, I ain't fucking with that. Perhaps if you and your partner are celebrating your first Valentine's Day, you might want to give this one a miss. MakeMeBabies.com allows you to upload a photo of you and your partner to see what your babies might look like. 
find that's it interesting. Really I might. Hey, that's it interesting. Gaze at the face of your unborn child. That's funny. Nothing says love like a loudly ticking biological clock. For the sake of empirical research, we couldn't help but plug in some photos. Meet little baby Connor, the offspring of Oprah Winfrey and esteemed Dim Sim. This Valentine's Day, give your lover a subtle edible hint as to what you really want this year. Made by a company called Sweet Sanctions, this naughty cookie box comes in a set of four cookies. Each cookie shows off some wild bedroom acrobatics. According to their Amazon listing, the cookies come in a range of colours, from okay. light, medium, dark, and even interracial flesh tone. Wow. The sugar from these ultra-sweet treats isn't the only thing that'll get your pulse racing this Valentine's Day. If you're keen to try these amorous cookies, you can get your mittens on them over on Amazon. There's a link in the description box below. Okay. Chocolate is no stranger on Valentine's Day, but nope. what about a chocolate mould of someone's anus? <laughs> you mind of inventor Magnus Irvin uh, Cup? Wow, 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 wow. A chocolate mould of somebody's asshole. That's interesting. That, that. That's the new one. The edible anus. A sweet chocolate treat anus. set in the mould of say. an anus. For a tidy fee of $38.95 US, the company is five boxes of milk chocolate brown eyes for you and your lover to devour. And if you're feeling even more adventurous, you can have your own anus set in bronze. For just <laughs> 1,900 US dollars, Irvin himself will create a mold of your very own bottom bullseye, which will be turned into an immaculate bronze ornament. Well, hey, well, I've got a question for you. Alright, y'all. Hope y'all like this video. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. Essence, born with less, but you still precious. Just smell for me now.